morning milking. We're sitting milking. doing this and I'm like, this is never gonna end. <laughs> Okay, scoot over a little. Now that you're doing your best. Can you scoot a little? No. This always scoot has this to way. Have a little. She is not going to let me push it. Can you move over a little? Here, let's do this. That way you don't have ants by you. Just tell us what you're doing. I'm, I am going to reset her. Okay. So we are going to pull her up Start here. Up. There we go. And then I'm going to pull her back this way. And then I will get the feed over there. And then I will feed the cow. Worth learning this, but she is so Oz. Oh, you should smack you in the face, too. But she is so Oz. Oh, so if poop, if a little poop particles get in the milk, it's not the end of the world. No, it's really not. In fact, she's like, is everything gonna you know, kill somebody? Is someone gonna get sick? Is what she says in the book. Yes. And she says, no, it's just gonna change the flavor of the milk, and you'll know. She's like, if your jars are clean and everything, like the way I do it, then you know something needs to change in the way that you set up your milking practice, she said. Good girl, Goldie. Good girl. What, squirt you? No. I'm just talking. Whoa! Mom! I, I'm just kidding! Did she actually get you? Yes! Humor. Jokes right there. Whiter? White. You mean not yellow? Yeah. I have noticed that. Is she holding it back? Um, I don't think she's holding it back. I think it is so far back. Do you know what I'm saying? She's so full. Oh, that the the hind cream is like at the very, yeah. very end. Mm -hmm. You know who would love it? Who, Bill? Oh. No, we're not feeding Bill in this yet. Why? Because we have pigs leaving in like a few days. They need all of Guess the... what? Mr. Joel bought a horse trailer. Yeah, I heard. Oh, Ollie, does she need more grain, honey? Oh, shit. Ollie, does she need more grain, honey? I don't know, but she's on my foot. Oh, baby. Come here. Come on, good girl. Okay. Ooh. Are you okay? Yeah. Did you get it in there yet? Okay, I'll wait for you. <laughs> She's like, I refuse. Where's I refuse. You... So he's refilled her like four times. Why is Dad's um bag always less empty than Mom's? Well, I did a little on the back, and then I moved to the front. So I haven't emptied one of them yet. Plus, Daddy goes really fast, and I feel like it's she might want to be a little more gentle. I do prefer cow poop over pig poop, I'll tell you that much. What? Well, cow poop is more like fermented grass. It doesn't stink the same it's way. I mean, it stinks, but it's not like people food. No. Okay, how are you feeling? That was exhausting and intense. So I'm like, I'm super happy to have We started at 8.30, so yeah. she's not even done. She's not milked. She's not dry. She's like, not. Man. She's not. Com she's not completely empty. Uh, she is as empty as she would be willing to allow us to. Yeah. She ate her full, because she's full she, course of grain. grain. So. Because it took us so long. Mhm. Mm so we're realizing that. She's got. She's maybe that's it. Is the good way to say it is she has a lot of milk. So much. So and we have little experience. So, mm -hmm. she's very patient with us very gentle to learn. I mean, maybe almost kicked a bucket over once, 
So it's not like she's temperamental. Like, I think she's a good cow to have. She's just a big producer. So we talked over solutions. I think we One can... One solution that we could do is get a milk machine. Not yeah. my favorite idea. Mm -hmm. Another solution could be... Like it's like 800 bucks for that. Yeah. But also, I just really want a hand milk. Which you are allowed... I just don't want can. it to take four hours, you know? So, like, that's... I mean, that's... Did you think that it would take this that long? Well, yesterday it didn't take that long because we put the calf on her. Mm -hmm. And then the calf woke up this morning with just white, foamy poo. So... And we learned that that's because she had too much milk yesterday. So, putting them out together all day, it's just too soon to do that with one calf. Because the cat, this calf is not used to. Now, over time, she will yeah. get... Regulated. Her, yeah. her, her supply will regulate. We're getting great milk. We got, we got a really good cream line yesterday. Mm -hmm. But the solutions for morning milking is not to put the calf with her overnight because then she's going to have too much milk and she'll get sick. And then the solution could be milk machine, mastitis, or I mean, like the consequences really was like, well, if we don't do anything, she could get mastitis and get sick, and that's not good either. The other one is get another cow. So to get another, so we would get... <laughs> I can't even believe we were saying it. A Angus bull. Jersey bull, like, and then we would castrate it. Uh, 150 bucks. Raise beef yeah. alongside of a hefty when, calf. I mean, right now, what's, what, this is what I'm telling Kelly, is that the time is already there. Yeah. Having a, another calf, it's really not that different. Like, we're already locked in to the time investment, and so that's the cost, is our time yeah. cost there. Um, her being unhealthy and eating more grain is not a smart move. Right. So we need to make, we need to do something. And the baby calf is not yet regulated to it. being able to have that much right. milk yet. Now that might change. I don't know how long that changes. Uh, but the, the farmer, the, the dairy farmer that we, we got yeah. her from, this is Goldie, if we haven't said that. <laughs> this is Goldie. I think even the funny thing is like over a milk machine, the calf, a second calf, could be the best quickest solution it is because the... it would take longer for the milk machine to get here it gets us a year and a half to grow out beef <coughs> which we have half a steer in the freezer right now so mm -hmm. we're just doing what we've learned is go ahead and start raising your meat once you have yeah processed your meat mm -hmm. so so she can raise well she nurses beef. four to five calves a day at the farm yeah. where we got her yeah. there's just a bunch of nurse mamas so every day they trade <laughs> out what you know most of them go in to get milked and then there's a you know a nurse mama who takes on all four or five calves and then and they only do that once a day and then they're on pasture the rest of the day so they have a good system going when there's multiple cows and multiple calves so i vote milk machine <laughs> because she, the book that she's reading, Keeping a Family Cow, a Family Milk Cow, whatever yep. that book is called, it says that with one cow, you're, you're never going to save the time. You're going to spend more time cleaning the equipment. Well, no, she's saying it'll be equal time. It'll be equal time that you would take milking to clean the equipment. and Not this cow yet. Not this cow yet. Because she think... is putting out so much. Yeah, so maybe if you're getting a cow in milk from another family, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, someone's already family milk cow, then they'd probably be really regulated in the amount of milk. Yeah, so the dairy was only a dairy for the sake of raising heifers. They're more like a breeding program. So they weren't trying to have the highest producing milk cows as if it were a Jersey farm where they're bottling and processing and producing their own milk. So I feel like the regulation should happen within the next week. It shouldn't take much more than two weeks to regulate, but if we can keep her healthy in that time is my big, big concern. I love that you went from not having any consideration for either of those two options, and then we had to sit down <laughs> for the second Morning We're sitting milking. doing this and I'm like, this is never gonna end.
Like so much, and we then... had to stick our hands. <laughs> this is just going to the pigs, the second milking. Yeah. We had to stick our hands in the milk in order to keep her lubricated. Yeah. So, so, well, cause we were just, do, we were hurting her. her. Like, like she that's- She isn't feeling hurt. It's not hurt, but, but I, it's, we were drying her teeth out. Yeah. And so we've, we've taken care Did of them now. Uh, so it just means that yeah. we got two solutions and we want, we, want a we figure it machine. out. Huh? We want a living milk machine. That's our second solution. We can sell now, the, if we have the milk the machine, we can we sell learned. the milk. If we're we not are, selling this milk. It, well, we weren't going to in the first place. I'm saying we could do a, a, a cow share. We could, but not any time. I would never do a cow share without the milk machine anyways. Like, I would never do the cow share. But it would every be way too much. But every dairy has milks with a milk machine. Strict. Yes, he, the dairies. Okay, I'm just. But we're not trying to be a dairy. I don't want to be a dairy. I'm just I saying. Don't I'm just saying. It's just it takes three minutes. Yes. It to does. do that milking process, there's a lot more time it takes to get the. Than the three but minutes. the but once you get them the suction on, mm -hmm. the suction. How about this? Let me say this. It takes her five minutes. I think it's about eight to ten. We were there. It took a lot longer than five minutes. I don't know. I've seen timers like in YouTube. They do a timer well, and they. You didn't time this cow, so it doesn't matter what the right. other cows you're, are doing. You're absolutely right. We have she not has, timed this cow. Yeah, she has a lot of milk mm -hmm. and she's healthy and she's in good shape. We just want to keep her that way, and we're learning how to do that well. Yeah. We'll let the you know. Learning curve.